Good morning, guys. What's going on? Where have I been? Oof. Man, as you know, I am in the process of uh, moving now. I'm going to live somewhere else, moving out of Bergen County. So things are in boxes. I lost my GoPro and, and the accessories for a while. And man, we were so busy this month. Oof. I had... I can't believe I didn't have my GoPro. I had so many great videos. and But hey, you know what? It is what it is. I found it now and I actually got my mic. I'm going to show you the setup I have with the GoPro. Um, <clears throat> the benefit of this now is that, you know, I can, you know how the trucks are loud and everything else. Sometimes people can't hear me. So now with this microphone, I don't know. This is a test. We're going to test it now. I'll be able to explain and, and and you know teach you or show you things you know and explain them better where well, you can hear me you know more comfortably hopefully right so anyway like i said a lot going on and uh i got uh, a couple of uh things to show you uh first let me show you my gopro setup <clears throat> obviously a mirror right because so you can say I have a light attachment I have the wireless microphone right here and uh, and here is the, the thing uh, for the the microphone wirelessly so I can leave these hanging somewhere and uh, you know you'll be able to hear me you should be able to hear me um, whether I'm far away or close or whether you have a very noisy truck uh, next to me, like the vacuum truck or the jet machines. All right. So let me take you back here and show you a few good things that have happened. You remember this truck? Look how nice it's coming out. Take a look at this. I remember it was red. So I call, I went and I call uh, a couple of body shops. Let me let me close this door. Ah, it's a wonderful day here in New Jersey today. We don't get many of these like this. Okay, hey, now I can use my light. Yeah, <laughs> good. All right, so <clears throat> again, I went to a couple of body shops and uh, they wanted a ton of money. They wanted like $3,000, $4,000 to paint this stuff. Then I said, you know what? I'll just call Mako. And uh, I called Mako and they said that they'll do it for like, you know, it was like 1,700, 1,900 bucks, but they needed the truck for like a month or something like that. I'm like, what? Uh, the thing is that uh, they didn't have an oven big enough for this truck, so they had to be weather permitting, which I understand, which is fine. So I just went ahead, bought a gun, some paint to my local uh, paint shop here, and I painted it myself. And let me tell you, I'm pretty happy with it. There was a little bit of runoffs coming out. Like here is probably this touching this. It's nothing to do with the paint, but hey, look at that. For the first time painting a truck, that's not bad, let me tell you. And I will go ahead and I spray painted this grills and this, um, this light housing right here. Remember this bumper was hit. This bumper was all the way up here. So I grabbed the hilo and I pushed it back and you know led lights led lights on top so it's almost done um <clears throat> that right down there is dusting so i just gotta power wash and clean that up that's one of the things i found like really the dust from the paint man not even with power washer that thing doesn't come out easy so i gotta go back to the paint shop and see if they have something uh, to do that. Or maybe if you know something, just put in the comments below. That would be great. 
So I'm still finishing up the LEDs, you know. It's all gonna be LED all around. And here is, <coughs> excuse me. Here is the, uh, we paint this uh, thing with something called Pour 40, which is, you know, supposed to be anti-rust, way better than rust oleum. So it's a can and then we brushed it in and we also gonna do underneath the truck. Now back here, <coughs> Remember we had two boxes here, right? When I took the two box the toolboxes off, this thing was just gone. I mean completely gone. Uh rusted out. So we got some diamond plate, tagged it over there, same thing on the other side. And uh I know you've seen this, this is crappy, right? Well this is a rear view camera that I installed right there. Because let me tell you, you need that. You need that camera because when you're sitting over there, you forget that this is back here, and you, you know, it's just weird. You just don't see it. So by having the camera there, I wired it to be uh, running all the time. As soon as you turn turn on the switch of the truck, the camera will turn on and the monitor will turn on. So it'll be on all the time. Uh, I know it probably. Uh, it probably decreases the life of the camera, but hey, I just, I'd rather, you know, it was a $60 camera, so I'd rather, you know, just put another camera, whatever, rather than somebody hit this, so. And uh, anyway, so, yeah, the boxes are gonna come back here. I think they were pretty neat. I, I saw the trucks online, and they don't come with those toolboxes. The people must have added it on later on. But this is how they come, I think. But I like the toolboxes. I'm going to put them back in. And then once I do that, you won't be able to see that wire going by. And uh, then I'll say I got about probably three to four more hours of work on this truck. Um, I'm going to be changing the oil and flushing all the, the fluids on the pump and the, the equipment. I know we also have a leak when I filled it up. It started leaking too. <clears throat> so I got to find that leak. And... Uh, fix it and then we're going to put the viper jet signs on it dot all that etc and uh i also said on the last video i was going to put a light back here uh but i need a permit for that so i'm just going to put a strobe right above the light and then i guess if i decide to get the permit i can go ahead and put a traffic advisory on this even though i'm not going to be uh not planning to be doing street manholes and street works with this truck this is this truck is going to be more like maintenance man this light is bright okay nope nope even worse uh, maybe we don't do the light for now there you go Oof. that's a bright light man that really is and uh oh i know <clears throat> i know what you see behind me this is our new machine uh well new to us uh, it's an international 2100 series Vector truck Picked this up from Florida Really really good condition um, And I can't wait to go ahead and show it to you uh, We had a we have a big problem on delivery that we're trying to fix so uh, I really can't wait to show you a video uh, using this truck not only uses this truck but also showing you the difference between these two trucks and how and what are they great at this one versus this one uh, and this is a fan machine this is a PD or positive displacement blower unit also has a bigger debris body as you can see this one's 15 yards I believe this one is 10 and uh, I can't wait to get this on the road. I already registered it and everything, but here is the big problem we had. First of all, when the delivery, it came in a low boy, right? And there was branches everywhere, branches all over the truck. I mean, the, the guy must have hit, I mean, look at that. Look at that light. Look, look, there's still branches, everything. I haven't, it came off the low boy and I brought it right in here. I haven't touched this truck. Um, so, 
the grill came messed up. You can see there's still branches on it. I clean it up. Remember, I took all the branches off of it and there's still leaves on this. So now, but let me show you the bigger problem. I hope you can see that upstairs. Let me get that. All right, all right bear with me. I'm gonna try to get up here. I don't want to stand on that. All right. All right. All right. I won't be able to make it up there holding the camera, but take a look at the top of the truck. You see that? He hit something. Whoa. So he went under a low bridge. He hit the debris body and, uh, there is a hole in there. So it's fine. The company has insurance. It's a trucking company. So there's going to be an insurance claim on this. Uh, I will normally be like, all right, let's just weld it, it, whatever, and send them a copy. But turn the light on so you can see better. There. As you can see over there, the tube from the debris body and uh, the cyclone, they're not lining up. So that's why I think it's, uh, it's the problem is bigger than, than just that hit on the roof. Look at this too. Okay, so this one is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be expensive to fix. I, I know that, so anyway, it happens. It is what it is. I still have another machine uh, I could use. So I'm also going to write a full uh, review about this truck and tell you why I bought this truck, uh, why the year, why the PD blower, why this truck, why I was interested in buying this truck, even though having another uh, vacuum truck so uh, that's what's going on now with this uh, video setup and this mic I hope it is working I'll be able to do some serious blogging and uh, and that's it guys that's what's up right now and uh, keep out there keep jetting stay drain cleaning grow your business I'll help you I'll teach you in any way I can I know I have a, one of my viewers said that I am not uh, <clears throat> I am not really explaining in detail on how to do things that I actually just talk as I as if I am having a conversation, which is hey, thank you. I appreciate the critics, and I'm gonna try to get better uh, uh, at this. You know, explain things better. So you know, so you can as you know, English is not my first language, you know, there's a little secret for you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it takes me a little bit of uh, uh, time to find words sometimes. So, but I'll try my best and I'll see you on the next one.